Hi there, my name is Vetha Sokmar. I research about food, I write about food and in this week's video we are going to be talking about vinegar. Vinegar is not very extensively used in the Indian cuisine but in the world cuisine it's predominantly used as a pickling agent. It's because it's very acidic, it has an extremely high shelf life and vinegar in French roughly translates into sour wine and the reason is given that name it's because um, vinegar is produced by this process called double fermentation. So you take any liquid that is high in sugars for example fruit juice or malt from grains and so on and then you add yeast to it it becomes alcohol. Now you take that alcohol and you set, ferment it the second time by introducing acetic acid bacteria to it. That alcohol gets converted into vinegar. Vinegar is basically nothing but a three components acetic acid, uh, ac acetic acid, water and flavor and that flavor component is what is coming from the original source that you know that's used to produce the uh, vinegar for example the flavor of the apple cider vinegar would come from apples the flavor of the rice vinegar will come from rice and so on so then you'd wonder what is white vinegar flavor coming from so white vinegar is something that has um, no specific flavor uh, allocated to it it can come from any cheap source of carbohydrate like potatoes or corn depending on the country that it's produced from White vinegar especially can be made um, from a synthetic method. So most of the vinegars that are food grade are made from natural methods of fermentation like I told you about the double fermentation method. It's called brewed vinegar. But um, synthetic vinegar is made using industrially by um, mixing in acetic acid at the 5% concentration with water. Now if you take a look at the uh, market, the vinegars in the market, um, the one that is really popular right now is the, acid, uh, the apple cider vinegar with the mother. It will say raw, it will say unpasteurized and it will say with the mother which you will see when it's cloudy down here and it has that kind of a uh, mat at the bottom which is made by the cellulose which is um, uh, you know like a mat that is formed by the acetic acid bacteria. It's an indication that it has live cultures in it. So in traditional uh, vinegars, they, you would not have that cloudy appearance, you will not have that, um, that um, those live cultures because they are filtered and they are pasteurized uh, after production and that makes, it, uh, makes the vinegar clearer in, uh, in color and it also gives it a longer shelf life. Now you can choose between either the raw and the unpasteurized or the, um, um, or the uh, pasteurized one, it's based on your lifestyle choice. Um, moving on to aged vinegar, they have the most, the two most popular aged vinegars are balsamic and sherry. The reason it's called aged vinegar is because once you finish the fermentation process, they let it sit in the barrels for a long period of time, the wooden barrels. And sherry, for example, is from Spain. It sits for about two years around developing its flavors over time. And balsamic would be, you know, kept for about sometimes even up to 12 years. So. Um, if you find, and this one is maple vinegar, which I found at the store, and it is made from maple sap, which was also aged, and I thought that was interesting. Um, if you find a balsamic vinegar, especially that falls prey to this, um, you know, process of, uh, you, you might get hoodwinked by it. It'll say balsamic vinegar of Moderna, which is, they, they would have made it in Moderna, but they would have made it using the industrial method and not the traditional method. So you will find it inexpensive, but when you take a look at the ingredients, it will be made from regular vinegar, caramel coloring and sugar as opposed to the traditional method and the reason the you would know that it's not a traditional method is because that one is um, is is very labor intensive very time intensive so it's extremely expensive to to make that and that will be reflected in the price and so those are all my tips for you regarding vinegar i hope it was useful and i'll see you in the next video with another food item until then thank you and goodbye